Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations and today's video. You may have seen this creation um, on Facebook. This is using one of the um, wooden birdhouses which are stocked in my store. They are X Poundland stock. So they are being sold for the same as Poundland sold them for and that was a pound. But they are X Poundland stock. And this is one I decorated for the winter Christmas season and I just hot glued it onto a candlestick, a candle stand. This is what the candle stand looks like beforehand. So I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do an autumnal one with you on camera. They come in a gray and a green, and even the green one is, is, um, is beautifully colored. Just trying to figure out which one I want to do, the, the gray or the green. You can see which, the autumnal colours go better with the grey I think so I think the green is definitely more a spring and summer um, birdhouse so I'm just going to take out this eyelet and the bit of string that you get with it and I'm just going to I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do but I have something in mind I need to grab hold of some faux birds. Bear with me. I'm going to use one of the faux birds. I do the red glittery ones, they're a bit too Christmassy. Then I do the two sizes. I use this size on the one I showed you at the beginning, but I think I'm going to use the slightly smaller size and probably this orangey brown one. So I'm going to use that. Let's take those out and you get to you get four to a pack. I've got my hot glue going at the at the side here. So I'm just going to push all these things to one side. The first thing I think I'm going to do is hot glue some moss to the roof of the um, birdhouse. Please be careful with hot glue. I recently had another hot glue gun burn. So I'm warning everybody out there. I know we get so complacent sometimes because we think we can, you know, that we think, we think that we can handle it, but it really can be very painful. So please take care. I'm going to do that to both sides. I'm really not bothered that it's patchy, not bothered at all, because I don't want it to have a universal covered look, because that's not the look I'm going for. I want it to be patchy. I do, however, want to have slightly more bulk under this bird's nest. So I'm just going to pile a whole heap of hot glue there and pile a bigger piece of um because I want that to sit more or less straight. So some hot glue on this mini bird nest. Now this mini bird nest I got in the spring from my craft store. I need a glue stick. And I'm going to put some of this moss on the inside of that Just a touch of hot glue on the inside there. And I'm going to fill up just so it doesn't look too obvious. And we are going to use one of these little birds. I may even use two. But for now, I'm just going to put the one on there just in case I want another bird elsewhere. I 
lifting things up and tucking them in. These are paper um, wired maple leaves. I'm just taking off the, the wire. In fact, I think I might use that size. So I'm going to put the other ones back and dig through my stash and get some more of the small paper ones. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I'm going to scrunch them up as well. So it looks like they've fallen onto the, um, the bird nest. Obviously you need to get rid of all the hot glue strings. I have that one, so it looks like it's actually just about to fall off the roof. Okay. Right, I want this little mushroom to go down here, but I want some. Yes, you guessed it, I'm going to put some moss down here. Now this moss I'm using, it has bits of twigs in it, it's just perfect for this type of creation. It's nice and rustic, it's exactly what I'm looking for. These little mushrooms are also sold in my store, they're sold in packs of 10, I don't have many left now. But once they're sold I won't be getting them back. stuff that's falling off I'm just picking up and pushing it into the hot glue and what sticks sticks and what doesn't doesn't all right I have some of these do I want this flower on here yeah I'm just going to have that poking out the top No rhyme or reason, just because. Right, let's have another one of you, these leaves. I'm just putting that leaf just here. And another one of these wired mushrooms. some hot glue across the front here and go back to all this debris I'm trying to keep it so it doesn't make the bottom uneven to get rid of the uh, hot glue strings too as they'll just get in the way oh and my little my little um, bird nest fell off let's put some hot glue down here up here and let's put you back And I 
think I'm going to have another bird maybe in this slightly burnt orange colour sitting on the perch I'm going to use one of the slightly larger ones so that can be almost like it's um, this is the mummy or daddy down here on the perch so I'm just going to put some hot glue on the perch and pop the bird so it sits there nicely and I'm going to put some moss to disguise the hot glue I'm going to put some hot glue and bring the moss up a bit as well and I'm just going to tap off the excess Okay, I've got some of these berries. I didn't know if I was going to use them. Just to add some more autumnal colour. Do I want this candy corn? No. Bring over the candlestick and I'm just going to put some hot glue around the outer rim of the candlestick and I'm going to place this on the base of the birdhouse and then using some raffia I'm going to put this raffia around the candlestick attempt to do a messy bow. I really don't want a neat bow. Okay, now do I want some of these berries in there? Yep, I'm just going to put a few of these berries in with that raffia just to bring the autumnal colours down. Just sticking some of the berries onto the raffia just there and I'm going to call that done thank you very much joining me crafters the uh, birds the mushrooms and the lighthouses are all available from my store G's embellishment and there'll be a link in the description box and there'll be a link in the comments thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again very soon take care now bye bye